Alright guys, so apparently there was the request to do a video and on uh, how to install the merch mod on Might & Magic 8. So this will be a short video explaining how to do it. Enjoy and let's go! Alright, so first step, it all starts on the website where you can download it. Uh, you can see the link here in the explorer bar. You just enter it and uh, go to the main site. You can also find the link in each of my videos. It is there in the video description. And there you can always find uh, the latest game files. So I have downloaded the version from the 19th of April of the year 2020, right? Just download it here. And then I have uh, downloaded one of the patch patches that was uh, delivered afterwards. Also, you can just download it here uh, at the Dropbox link. And here you can also find a little install uh, guide. And I also use the GOG version of Might & Magic 8, but I think it doesn't make much of a difference. You just have to know where to find your Magic uh, Might & Magic 8 copy. So first things first, you load at least uh, the latest game files, and if you want, additionally, the patch files. Okay, second step. All right, step number two. In this case, bear with me. I am German, so this is the German uh, Windows you can see here. But nevertheless, this is the download folder on my PC, and I have just downloaded um, yeah, the merged version from the 19th of April 2020 that I have just shown you. It was around 1.5 gig, and the patch, which is smaller, and here yeah, you just start by um, un unzipping uh, this folder. I have 7-zip on my PC. Just uh, unzip it, right? And then you can see that there are different folders right now. And what you have to do next is, you see either these folders up here that were inside the zip folder, as well as the different uh, yeah, data here, not the um, MM8CHE, this is kind of an editor that I have still here on my PC, just ignore that. Um, but these files here, you start with them, you just, here if you want, copy paste. And what you now have to do is, um, you go to your Might & Magic 8 folder. Uh, I hope I find it in one go, but by m on my PC I have the GOG version, like I mentioned, so it's in GOG. Galaxy Games. Here I have uh, Might & Magic 8. And if we just switch there, you just, uh, yeah, just put all the files uh, in here. What is important is that you have this mm8.ini because this is the configuration data. You can open it with an uh, editor. And there you could, uh, yeah, for example, switch on and off the MP3 loops or the um, mouse look and stuff like that. Anyway, so uh, you copy all these files from the download folder that you can see here inside the Might & Magic 8 folder, right? After this is done, you can just uh, delete it here. I have it in my download folder. And then you see these uh, music, scripts, data, data files, examods, enims, right? So what you have to do next is you go into the music folder, copy everything, control, a marks everything, and then you can either press Ctrl C to copy or right click and copy. Again, this is German, so I don't know if you can read it, but uh, if not, just uh, Ctrl plus A simultaneously to mark everything and S uh, Ctrl plus C to copy. And then we go into the Might and Magic 8 folder again, go into the music folder, and then you copy everything in there, right? If it uh, asks if uh, you want to Overwrite it, just say yes. But yeah, you can see that uh, in the end results there should be around 51 um, MP3 tracks. That is because you can see here that there are tracks from Might & Magic 6, Might & Magic 7, and the first ones are from Might & Magic 8, obviously. And yeah, and then you kind of do the same things 
for every other folder, right? Uh, where is my download folder? This here. We have a scripts folder with different uh, um, subfolders. I hope that is the correct word. Um, yeah, and then you kind of just uh, put all those folders into the Mighty Magic 8 folder. Um, and that should be it, literally. Like, there is no other trick to it. For the data folder also, just, yeah, copy everything again and put it into your Mighty Magic 8 data folder, which is here. And yeah, it looks kind of the same. Um, and that is literally all you have to do to make it work. Um, third step then would be if you downloaded the patch and copied all these folders into your respective Mighty Magic 8 folder or all the files in the respective folder in Mighty Magic 8, right? So you can either uh, yeah copy the whole music folder and put it into here, ask uh, if you want, uh, yeah, if the Windows asks you to override the music folder, you say yes, then also all the files are in there, or you just uh, choose all the files in here and copy them in there, right? It doesn't really make a difference. Um, anyhow, I will just delete these folders right now. So after you have installed the main merged mod, you can see that in this case I have downloaded the patch. I do the same, I unzip the patch here, right? And this time there are only scripts. So I don't want to copy the whole scripts folder now, because then I would overwrite what I have put into the, uh, the folder from the base, right? So might be that there are only a few differences and not everything. So don't choose the whole folder, but go, for example, into scripts core, copy all the contents of the uh, core folder, go to your Mighty Magic 8, also search for the scripts folder, also search for the core folder, and copy it all in here. It's more easier if you open two windows, one for the main folder, one for the download, or wherever you have unzipped the files to, and just, uh, yeah, you can also use then drag and drop or something like that to shift them over. And yeah, with that, you just then start your MM8 exe, and that's it. That is the whole trick on how to install the uh, merged mod to this game, and enjoy all the might and magics from 6 till uh, from 6 to 8 in one single game. And if I remember correctly, the mod that you uh, can create a party with the MM8 engine uh, without recruiting random NPCs, that should also be already included by the latest version. And if you want to play the game in another language than English. There are also some localization files that you can find on the website with the uh, link yeah, that I have shown you before or that are also in the video descriptions. Let me quickly switch back to my Internet Explorer. Right, so we have solved step one, we have solved step two, optional, we have installed a patch. That is also done. So the last option we have is to download localization files. I haven't done this because I wanted to play in English, but if I wanted to play in German, you can find the download links here in this localization section. You can download German which adds the text and audios for MM6 till 8 in German, or you can do it in Polish, in Russian, in French. And yeah, well, that's it about it. Maybe Spanish here too. Just do it again, uh, like download the file, unzip the file. You will see the folders. In this case, they are for your data folder. And then you just uh, switch the files in the data folder. 
Um, if I switch the recording quickly back to my Explorer, then it should be into the data folder simply. And there you can see I have the English files here. And I think if you choose the German versions, then they will just uh, yeah overwrite these ones. And that is the whole trick to installing this. So I hope this helps you in order to also enjoy this great mod. And mm, the last thing I may want to show is yeah, if you need a good editor for this game because there appears a bug or maybe a quest item can't be looted or something of that nature occurs. There was also one during my Might and Magic 7 um, Let's Play where I forgot to loot, I think, the Heart of the Wood from the chest in the Mercenary Guild in Tatalia. And then we couldn't open the chest anymore and the quest item was lost. And I didn't want to wait two years till the uh, dungeon resets, so I we used an editor there. Since the merged mod is based on uh, Might and Magic 8, you have to choose an editor for Might and Magic 8. And the only one that worked for me was the MM8CHE. Uh, Again, you just unzip, and then there is a single exe here. You double click it and I hope it will record now. Let me try and switch that back. I can't see it right now here. It seems like OBS doesn't capture the... No, here it is. Okay, I hope it works. Um, what you have to do if you want to here edit your game file or maybe make things easier put something, put quest items into inventory or what have you. You click on browse here. Um, and then it prompts you to search a folder, which OBS doesn't show right now, if I see this correctly. Um, <laughs> here it is. I have to switch back all the time. Um, then again, we go to the Might and Magic 8 install folder, which in my case is C, Programs, uh, GOG Galaxy, and then Games and just Might and Magic 8, just stop here, you click OK. And then you can see your save games, right? I have three in this case. And then you just open the save game. Uh, I would advise to maybe save this to another number or whatever before you alter game files because you never know if the editor crushes your game state or not. So just uh, load the game state inside the game, make a copy of it kind of and uh, be safe, better be safe than sorry. Um, but if you uh, choose the save game and open it, uh, wait a sec, I have to switch again. In this case, it's uh, here my second save, my second uh, save. Then you can see your party members down here, and this is one of the only options to or yes, yeah, you can see the party members down here, but you have also all a character list of all the characters that you can recruit in the game. And what you have to do is you choose a character and click Edit Character. And then you can also give them inventory items. Now the thing is, the editor will crash down as it just happens. If you choose a character that is created uh, during party creation of the mod, or rather to say, um, to be more precise, if your character has an item on it that was not or originally from Might and Magic 8, then the game will crash. Uh, not the game, but the um, the mod or the, the editor, the character editor will crash. So what you have to do, if I quickly uh, redo this, you have to choose an NPC that is either naked, so he doesn't have any items on him or her, and the inventory is completely empty, or at least only have items from Might and Magic 8. Now, I can't remember um, all the items that were originally from the game, 
So it's more like try and error. Um, but one trick that I have also used during the Let's Play. Um, where is it now? We are. One trick I've used during the NPC, uh, during the Let's Play, is choose an NPC that sits around in the Adventurer's Guild, like we have recruited him. And we have recruited him so early in the game, in Might and Magic 8, that he can only have uh, yeah, the respective items. And then you can definitely edit him. I think I have used the guy from the Necropolis town, the, the spy in there, that you recruit for one of the main guilds. We can also use uh, Snapfinger, which was the witness for one of the earlier main quests. Yeah, and then you can see that it works. You can also um, see his character portrait. Here it is. Right, you can see his portrait. You can see his level, age, and whatever. And then you can see the inventory with uh, the items he currently has. And then you can choose out from a long ass list what you want to give him. Again, only really might and magic eight items, but I think there is everything in here you can wish for. So yeah. So I only used it to give me the Phoenix feathers for one of the new quests because they are super super rare and I just wanted to show it and not search for them all the time. In my second playthrough, I knew about it, and of course, then I could save them. But in uh, yeah, my first Let's Play, I just used them as ingredients, so instantly regretted that. Same for Philosopher's Stone. But uh, yeah, if you need an editor for whatever reason, like bugs, quest items that can't be looted, or you don't want to wait years till you find that flesh to stone scroll, uh, stone to flesh, flesh to stone scroll that you wasted away in the earlier games and need it suddenly for the Black Elf promotion or Dark Elf promotion, then the editor can certainly help you to save time. So that's it for the video. I hope you have learned how to install the mod. I hope you can make use of the character editor. I mean, the game is not that hard, so it's not needed to cheat, but hey, it's not multiplayer or anything. And as long as you enjoy and have fun with the game, I guess that's fine. Um, yeah, if you have still further questions or need clarification, just write in the comment section. I hope to answer them, maybe make some screenshots or whatnot. But that's it for today. So thanks for watching. Have a great day and till next time. Bye bye.